Hey what's up everyone welcome to Effects Maniac this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again and in today's tutorial I'll show you guys how to set up a quick little lighting studio lighting setup using 3D Studio Max and V-Ray so we're actually gonna make this uh, scene here so the model I've actually got it from Chaos Cosmos you can go ahead if you have V-Ray 5 you can go and browse through the different models and download and use them so I've actually gone and uh, you know got it from here so yeah so I'm just gonna first off I'm gonna build my seamless backdrop which is a very important part of a you know studio lighting setup so I'm just gonna build it differently than the usual so I'm just gonna go and create a chamfer box from the extended primitives and give it some fillet and I'm gonna hit F4 and just right click convert it to editable poly and from the left view I'm just gonna select these faces and delete them so we have this here and I'm just gonna hit R and scale it really big so I mean really big because we don't want to see any of those edges and I'm just gonna add a turbo smooth two levels probably three levels and just add a shell here so yeah we got our object if I hit C I've already set up a camera so the cool thing is if you rotate around you have like a seamless backdrop so I'm using V-Ray here I'm just gonna hit M and just going to get a V-Ray material here double click and apply it make it a bit darker just like that and now on to adding the lights so I'll go ahead into my lights I'll add a V-Ray light here and the thing about lights are that you know you want to make them bigger because the more bigger the light the softer the shadows are going to be so you don't want any harsh shadows in your studio lighting lighting studio or whatever so I'm just going to make it big and the other thing that I'm going to emphasize is when you duplicate lights if, it, if you hold shift here uh, you want to make an instance because controlling all of them will be much more easier so I'm just going to rotate it like this and like that and I'm going to go and drag shift drag and again make sure it's an instance and just go ahead and mirror it on the X direction and one more I want to drag here for the front light hit A for angle snap and rotate it 90 degrees so I'm just gonna move it down here you don't wanna you don't want the lights to be too close to the object so you can go hit C again now if I go ahead and go to my V-Ray IPR you can see that it's very bright so I'm actually gonna and the cool thing about instancing is if I select one light here and I change the parameter for example the multiplier to 3 you will see that it will update for all of them so you don't have to you know update it individually but then if you want to update one light individually you can also go right click and make it unique but in this case I think it's fine but as you can see here we got some uh, areas that are very dark because of our very big back plate so in order to fix that I'm actually gonna go and add a dome light here click and add a dome and that'll take care of most of those dark areas anyways so yeah just like that and I'm just gonna put it here so yeah and then you also want to go to your lights and make sure that they are invisible so we don't see them and it doesn't get you know in front of the camera or anything so I'm just gonna put it here and next off I'm just gonna go with some quick render settings so you can also go with the V-Ray quick render settings which I've already gone through this but I'm actually gonna explain some things if you want to get a noise free quick render so I'm actually gonna go to V-Ray tab and I've set the bucket image sampler to 2 and if you want to get less noisy you know renders you do wanna decrease this value so I'm actually gonna you know the lower this value is the less noise you're gonna have but then the more time it's gonna take so I'm actually gonna put a zero you know point zero zero two it was point zero zero five and these are the settings I'm actually gonna set this to low and one more thing that will really help you get you know noise free renders you can go into the render elements and add a V-Ray denoiser so it's here and it will actually help you a lot to get a noise free render and then once you render this out you're gonna get something a little like this which uh, by the way I haven't added the denoiser here 
but I think it already is looking really nice. And that is how you create a quick studio lighting inside 3ds Max using V-Ray. So if you find this tutorial useful, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me uh, further, you can go ahead and support me on my Patreon and plus get some project files and some bonus videos and personal chat support as well. So yeah, thank you again. And until the next one, enjoy working.